So I'm gonna do more of this. Whilst it's miserable outside. Hey Van, how's it going? <laughs> Good luck with the gambling sim. Yeah, it feels like that sometimes. Honestly... I mean, I've won with the characters that I struggle with, so... I'd say it's going okay. Then again, I'm not playing the hardest, hardest thing you can do in this game yet. I'm kind of getting warmed up to that point. Um, who do we want to do today? I guess if we continue the tradition of, like, things that cause me difficulties. Um, but this character's fun, I like him, but it's just definitely... If you get off to the wrong start, it's bad. Okay, I think this is the skill. Hang on, I'm trying to set. No, it's this one. This one's safe to use now. Ah, difficulty. Sorry. Okay, it doesn't remember the difficulty. I have never played this difficulty ever. <laughs> it's just... Oh, not great. Oh, sorry to hear. Well, let's just hang out. Kick back. Watch me get my butt kicked. Okay, how did that miss, though? Doesn't matter. But yeah, I was gonna go do something today, but then it just became miserable. I don't know. Particularly if there's hail, I think driving is kind of a bad idea. Especially where I wanted to go head out to. It's just, I don't know. That part of Melbourne. People driving out there. I feel like there's always an accident when there's rain. Having grown up there. And I'm, I'm in no rush to do what I wanted to do, so. Hail sucks. Yeah, it kind of just came out of nowhere. It's the time of year where it's supposed to get better. Like, this is... September's the best time of year in Melbourne. Because you get weather where it's, like, just... It's nice and warm. And... Oh, yeah, I swapped... Okay. Now I remember. Oh, well. Um... It's nice and warm. But it's not too hot that you're, like, sweating extremely. It'd be like... What Europeans consider summer. Pretty much. The only thing that sucks is like, if you have allergies, man, does it really mess you up. There are people that come to Australia, or particularly Melbourne, that have never had allergies in their entire life, and then they just get hit by the allergy stick. I forgot I changed my loadout. It's alright, I mean, I don't mind this skill, but the other one's better.
Anyway, the reason I've probably been doing well is just because I'm not... <sighs> Whilst this is technically the base game's hardest mode, there's an even harder mode where it just keeps adding challenge every time you win with a character. It gets to the point where, like, if you take damage for that, the rest of that stage, that health is just gone. Thank you. Alright, movement speed, that's what we want. Oh, and full damage, like, kills you. <laughs> if you, you jump from too high of a height. Which is always a fun way to die. It's still hot there? Huh. I mean, might be why it's still raining here. It hasn't gone into spring yet. But yeah, I mean, that challenge is just... Ooh, wait, I forgot about the altar. Where was it? There's actually a lot of items on this stage this time around. Ninety-two. That's the, yeah. That is that is pretty hot. So I, I mean, I don't know Fahrenheit completely, but I know like what's hot in Fahrenheit. You know. I mean, this character's interesting. This whole thing is like... It's a robot that's been possessed by a plant. It's like, is it a robot still or is it a plant? Oh my god. 33 Celsius. Yeah, I figured it was like low 30s. I mean, to me, that's a nice day to go to the beach here. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get rid of these things. Man, this was rough. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, stick it. You're not going anywhere. What is still hitting you? That's the thing that's been taking me out. Holy crap. Been going just extra aggressive on the enemies. That, that does still work on that. Um, dagger, that, and that. Alright, let's go.
Ugh, it's just so hard to move as this character. It's just a gambling in the middle. get wasted. Okay, no. We good. Those are probably the most items I've seen for a first stage. Another chest? Wow, it is. Leave me alone! Oh my god, it was a hidden chest. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this many items for the end of the first stage. I think I had a big tree limb fall earlier, like a big tree. It's hopefully not near a house. Definitely used to get that a lot where I grew up. In the city, it happens, but not so much. Part of the reason I wouldn't want a tree anywhere near my house or like place of living. It's just that reality. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this because like the thing this character's always health up, health down, health up, health down.
I mean, they look nice, but it's just... I wouldn't want them anywhere near. This is an alright start. I just need move speed, that's all. Oh, and a way to jump. This character's just horrendous. There's a way up. I just gotta... Okay, there we go. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. Oh, man. oh, it wasn't even here. Am I live on YouTube too? Yeah, I usually throw it up. I mean, it's hit and miss over there. Oh no, YouTube just hasn't developed... Um... Oh, you're kidding. There's no way to get up. YouTube just hasn't developed, um, the streaming over there. I feel like they're just focused on shorts now. If I'm gonna go there eventually, it's gonna have to be like I have to have the biggest amount of confidence that I can win. That's so annoying. There are some characters that just straight up get locked out of going to the bonus stage just because they can't jump or they can't. Reach a height. It's always bothered me. I guess at this point I'll just have to wait. <laughs> All oh, right, Mountain Tran. I was like, what?
Oh, uh, you're gonna see if this works better for you on YouTube. Good luck. I gotta remember to check YouTube chat now. Cause I got it on a different monitor. Cause it's not as busy. I mean, the YouTube player, I'm not sure how it goes. It might be less delayed, we'll see. I saw the word yes pop up just then. That's any indication. The other downside is, of course, like, you know, when there are people chatting, it's usually on Twitch more often. Wait, there's one more? Where? What? Oh, you're over there. Why did you appear over there? Weird. Go back to the other... No, here's whatever works for you. I mean, right now, it's just like... Me playing and nothing else. Oh, come on, man. Really gonna make me work to get that item. Alright. You need to change your name. I suppose that's the other thing about YouTube is like, goes by whatever your YouTube account name is. That's what I mean. It's like little things like that that is like they need to patch up, but I'm not convinced they ever will now. I don't think I'm going to win. Just because I don't... I didn't get to go to the void and get the other items. Like, at this point, I should have a red item. But thanks to the game putting the altar in spots where this character can't get to physically. Well. He's probably done it again. one really calls you by your full name. That's fair enough. I mean, that's usually something that unle unless you're in trouble or something, or people are doing it to be funny. I know someone that calls people by whatever the most formal version of their name is. Yeah, this, this sucks. Well, I lost because, at this point, I should be a lot stronger. I mean, I guess... No harm, no foul, right? It's like I didn't spend anything. Just 
with all those items I had, if I would have gone to the bonus area, it would have been great. I think that's the problem with this character, is just it gets locked out from that content unless it's on low ground. It has probably the worst mobility at the start. Oh, hold on. Well, I have an opportunity. Since I started a new run, hold on. Um, I want the other skill back, this one. Oh, I got this again. Uh, no, I don't want this. If I get this level, unless the altar is like on low ground, I'm, I'm gonna miss out again. Um. Okay, this this is fine. Maybe. This will also potentially be up up high. What is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be a robot, and then the robot got abandoned, and um, this like parasite it's like a parasitic plant took over it but then the way you get this unlock this character is you bring a battery to it that wakes up the robot so then it's kind of like well is this thing still the robot or is it the parasitic plant it's like a bit of both I think it was meant to be like a recon drone originally It's a neat idea. It's like a parasite using technology. Ah, oh, this is probably the worst item I can get. Oh, there's a scrap of that. Cool. Is this because... The way this character... Most of these character skills work is you sacrifice your help, health to attack. But then you're able to gain it back because it leeches health. YouTube definitely works better. Yeah, I've always said this. YouTube, the one thing they got down is the video player is just, you know, because of course it's YouTube. It's the best. The thing that they don't have down is the chat experience. It's just not good. Um, and knowing, being able to browse who's gone live and browse by, like, category, the, the stuff that Twitch is better for, right? What are his legs? His legs, I mean, they're just robot legs. He has a crotch cam. I mean, a camera on his crotch, not a camera face that crotches. <laughs> Well, the root things are the parasite, allowing movement. Alright, that's good. Eh, I mean, for this character, shield, not as useful. But at least in the void, I'll have some benefit.
Yeah, this character's design is really cool. I like it. very useful. Alright, I'd say I'm done. Let's see what this says. Sometimes I might get lucky. Um, no. That thing is bad. Let me just make sure I remember what it does. Yeah, it decreases skill cooldowns, but decreases attack speed, which... No, thank you. With this character, I'm really going to be on full health. Hey, it was the portal. Ah, oh, there it is. Alright, All right, let's see how I go. not actually this is not bad for this character but I'll forgo it ah <laughs> haven't done this in a while I could usually time it so that I don't take the damage when I fall am I playing anything else uh, I don't know Right now, this is like a bit of a bonus thing. We'll see how I feel later. The stuff I checked out yesterday was a lot of fun, though. 
check that demo to this game that's like it's you play as a little spaceship and you shoot things but then it plays weirdly like zelda and i really got into it but it was just a demo but i did get the full game Right now, this is just because I got nothing else to do. And I didn't feel like watching anything. The problem here is going to be how far away things are, because this character sucks at moving around. Oh, um, yes, we need that. Yeah, I mean, during the day, it's kind of... It's not really when people are around. So it's harder to pick something to play. And when I say during the day, I mean during the day my time. Oh, just because I can't be live during this time on a weekday, so... You know, I'm just not around generally around this time. AC, Animal Crossing? Nah, I'm done with it. I did what I wanted to do with that. I know that there'd be some people that would be happy for that, but I... I don't really want to continue what I did, and I don't really want to start something new on it. I'll play it again eventually. Like, whenever they do a new one. Actually, even Opal's not really great, because I think it's going to pop whenever I use my skill. Um, get that just to heal. I've just never been able to just stick to one game. I've always wanna just experience as many different things. The only exception is like games where you're working towards something. It's like this game, I'm working towards something, but then eventually when I finish those things, I don't just keep playing it. I mean, what, I've, I've sunk, like, a thousand hours into this one. Over the, I don't know how many years it's been out for. It'll probably be a couple of years. Yeah. I mean, supposedly another one is being worked on, but who knows when that'll be. But, I mean, I played Animal Crossing pretty much every time I streamed for, like, seven months, so I think I'm fine. Because I did New Leaf before New Horizons.
Whenever they release a new one, I'll go back to it. It's hard to pick games that... Well, I guess it's impossible. It's not even hard. It's impossible to pick a game that everyone will be happy with. I felt, I felt tempted to, for a while to kind of just do games that are adjacent to Animal Crossing, but on YouTube only, just to give it a go. But then I was like, ah, eh, but that'd be me trying just one more thing and one more thing to just manage. So I decided against it. Because then at least that way it was like, okay, well, at least there's a channel that I have that's like, well, you can expect this always. Yeah, I decided against it. It's just... Trying to do too many things at once. Oh, okay, why am I... Oh, because I see I'm walking on the actual vent thing. That was weird. It's like sideways for a sec. There we go. Uh-oh. Why am I getting these things? I mean, I guess I can try and stop them before they get up. You know, it would have been nice if, with Animal Crossing, it lets you start a new file without having to sacrifice your old one. I think that's also part of the reason. I just hate erasing things. That was such a weird choice. Like, with Stardew, right? I can just start a new file, but still have my old ones there. If I ever want to go back and look at how I did things. I know that, you know, you've got the, uh, the dreams or whatever, but you can't see everything in a dream. Like, if a villager's house is just door closed, you can't go in. Oh no. Dude. This is scary. Ow, ow, ow. I'm hoping that little kamikaze move doesn't make. Oh. They got this item that when they do a lot of damage, they cause an, an explosion of ice and... Oh wait, an explosion of fire, my bad. So if that happens, I, uh, I, I will 100% die instantly. But these things that are trying to jump at me and explode on me, they will probably cause a fire explosion when they do that. There is another game that's been similar to Animal Crossing. Um, there's two, actually. There's one that's, like, kind of set in Australia. Um, but that one's still in early access, so I'm kind of waiting for that one to leave. And then um, Sanrio was supposed to, like... Maybe they've already released it. I might need to look into it. But um, they were going to do... Oh, shit. Please tell me I can outheal this. I can. Um, like a Hello Kitty version of Animal Crossing, kinda. 
And it looks like Animal Crossing, but just with the Sanrio characters. Um, and that was going to release on PC and other stuff. But I can't remember when. Okay, grabbing that was like the best move I could have made. There's no way I would have made it across over there on time. I think a way that... I guess it depends how this works. It says when taking damage has a chance to trigger active enemy debuffs. Hang on. I think a way this could work is like it does it in a range instead of those attacking you. Oh crap, I shouldn't have grabbed that. That is 100% going to break by the time I get to the next thing. That way, this character could grab it, and any time it does an attack where it's sacrificing its own health, it, like, has a chance to apply things to others. That'd be cool. Sounds fun. Yeah, I mean, it is coming out on Switch as well. It's probably out by now. And I just haven't realized that. Sail star, without question. Um, over there. Hang on, let me let me look it up while some healing. Right, that's right. Its name is Hello Kitty Island Adventures, and I found it funny because it's the, it's exactly the same name as what Butters played in South Park <laughs> like over a decade ago. Okay, so it's coming to 20 it's coming in 2025. Okay, so it's next year. Okay, got it. But it is coming to PC. Um it it just straight up looks like Animal Crossing but with the Sanrio stuff. Which is already like a um those items you can get in Animal Crossing that are themed around that. So it just looks like the whole game is that Ow, 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 ow. Okay, this is not good. Oh my god. It exploded and I survived. I'm not gonna live. I'm dead. Yep. The stupid, stupid golems and the laser that just sends you flying. Alright. 
Well, I tried. It's alright, the past few nights I've had it easy. I've won. You can't play this game without having your ass kicked sometimes over and over again. Do you remember that episode? Okay, good. I'm not that old then. Because <laughs> there are going to be people where they are like, at this point, even South Park is like old. The South Park movie came out 25 years ago, and man, that that is uh, that is something. The amount of things that have had a 25th anniversary this year makes me sad. Well, not sad, more like, oh wow, yeah, okay. Hello? The fuck? Okay. Oh, I see, it's a little empty container. Hey, Sandy, how's it going? Um, it's alright, just tailing outside so I got nothing to do. Something like, I forgot which Green Day album it was, but it like turned 20 as well. It's okay, we all get old eventually. I know, but it's it's just it's like a disconnect, I guess. I mean, at least I'm not gonna get to the point where like I don't understand slang and lingo. Like just because of the internet and I guess audience members. Like I know of the dumb things that kids are laughing at. This music, yeah, the the dude that produces this music is very good. To probably point out as well, like currently <laughs> talking on Twitch, talking on YouTube as well. So it's if you hear me replying to stuff that you don't see, well, that's why. Gen Alpha has slang you don't understand. Yeah, no, I, I feel ya. There's definitely stuff where I'm like, how how did that come to be? It almost sounds like most of the stuff that Gen Alpha is using, it, it just sounds like a noise a baby would make. You know what I mean? Oh, that's a funny sounding word. Let's use it. But, I mean, shit, some of the stuff that millennials found funny, I can understand. That, like, Gen X and Boomers would have been like, what are these kids on about? I mean, dude, we, we had people eating fucking laundry tablets and dishwasher tablets. And, um, like, planking... We've had a, sh a fair share of dumb shit, you know? I don't like the argument that, uh, I guess... Um... 
Gen Alpha is like 100% doomed. Don't get me wrong, they're doing things where I'm like, okay, that is a little scary, but I can't say that, you know, we didn't do shit like that as well. I feel like every generation does something that kind of frightens the previous. Or like random flash mobs. Um, like that whole Harlem Shake shit. And then the dumb stuff we'd laugh at, like, I'm talking early day South Park, you know? Which sometimes was probably the most brain rot stuff that we could have watched back then. Or like Happy Tree Friends, Flash animations. It's, it's all relative. The one thing that I, I don't think I can excuse now is just... That article that I read where, like, people aren't using the word Google anymore as a way to say, Hey, I'm going to search something. Like, it's become an old person thing where now younger... People are just saying search because they're not using Google as a way to search. They use TikTok or like short form content as a way to search for things or asking chat GPT. And that genuinely scares me. <laughs> that definitely scares me a little. Like using TikTok as a way to find information. Not that you can't. I, I, I know for a fact that there's definitely... If you set it up and, you know, follow the right accounts and everything, you can get it so it's presenting you with actual useful stuff. But again, it's just the platform it's on where, man... Uh, that's why I refuse to engage with just TikTok in general. Every now and then I'll log into the admin just to upload, like, a stupid clip and then that's, that's it. Like, I just don't touch the app. Where's the altar here? Use Google at first, and if you can't find what you need, then you go to TikTok. I mean, in the defense of anyone using TikTok as a search engine... I don't know if it's just me, but, like, Google has gotten way worse um, in terms of being able to find what you're looking for. Because it seems to, like, try to recommend you stuff, and those recommendations don't work half the time. Like, I I have to write, like, a whole damn sentence to try and find what I'm looking for. Whereas in before, you could kind of loosely type what you were looking for, and it would find it pretty easily. Like, if you're looking for something specific, it's kind of annoying. Like, I think it's kind of lost its way in that regard. So I can understand people using TikTok as a search, because it's probably like how Google used to be. The high schools these days use AI to write papers. Yeah. I mean, it's smart. Being aware of AI is smart, because, I mean... Like, when it comes to applying for jobs, I think... It's become to the point in America where, like, 95% of the big companies just use AI to scan resumes and shit. So you need to be aware of the existence of this stuff. And how to cater towards AI. Like, you're not dealing with a human anymore. You dick! Okay. Ugh, I hate these robots. Just a fucking laser beam and the knockback. 
this... This character has a rougher start, but then once you get up and running and you have items... It's a lot of fun. It's just, at the start, it is really suffering. You move slow, you can't jump very well, and you get knocked about everywhere by certain skills. Anyway, that's enough old, old person talk. I'm at least... I'm at least not at the point where, like, you know, I'm gonna completely hate someone that's younger than me just because they're younger than me. I'll always think back to, like, every generation does something stupid. I mean, I'm sure one thing my parents definitely worried about was, like, how much time I spent on the computer and with technology, because this wasn't that normal. And then, suddenly, it's all normal. Your colleague made it clear that reviews have to be done without AI because it shows when things are inconsistent and incorrect. On your first year in calls, you're an elderly baby, so there's that. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't hit the point where, like... It's strange, you know. I guess maybe because of the way I act and maybe being into gaming kind of helps combat that. I definitely haven't been called old yet, despite looking at. I couldn't find the altar, I'm just gonna have to do it next stage. You call me old all the time. Yeah, well, that's fine. I don't mind it. It doesn't. It doesn't bother me. Because I, I've always had to. I've always had to act old. And so even as a teenager, I just had to act old. Like, in university, what? How old was I? I was like, I was 17 when most people were in their 20s. I was always the youngest in the group, so I kind of had to make up for that by acting older than what I was. going for that chest. Oh, there's move speed. I think what definitely helped sell that was just that I, I became tall. I guess my voice helped support the fact that I, I am older than what I was. Alright.
<laughs> this is a sad thing. It's like, even though I have good items, it's just the nature of this character, man. if there's a channel with the music from here um that's definitely on spotify the dude's uploaded it and it's on youtube if you just look up the soundtrack to this game you'll find it The guy has a band camp as well. one sad thing is I mean I guess the guy might reuse the music for something else but um for the people that developed this game sold it to Gearbox and then those guys were working on a new game after you know they sold this to Gearbox um but then Valve picked them up so they uh yeah they dissolved the company completely because now they work at Valve and they, uh, the guy showed that, oh, yeah, that he was working on music for their next game. So there was, like, a bunch of music that's just not gonna see the light of day from him, which is a bit sad. Hopefully whatever those devs work on when they're at Valve, they might convince Valve to use him as a music producer. gonna lock me out again isn't it if it's not up this tree i'm gonna be so annoyed okay how do i do this it's like boop okay i got it i got it right this time yeah it's here oh are you kidding the golden altar's here too this game is such a massive asshole <laughs> just what it did to me there oh what's that you want to go to the burn stage go back Ugh. It sent, like, six jellyfish at me. Alright, well, time to start again.
Ugh. This is gonna be one of these days where I just don't win. <laughs> Okay, that's... No, this is good. Ah. Oh. Usually I don't like this item because it's kind of... doesn't have much use, but right here I'm, I'm happy. This will let me get to high places. I'm not missing out this time. I can do it. That's it's not the worst thing I've had to do. If you want to see me truly get upset, like, there's one game in particular that took me almost a year of my time. <laughs> and it's... By far the most evil game I've ever played. Despite it having like a cute look, it is the most evil game I've ever played. It's because of the different ways you can die, and even like hundreds upon hundreds of hours in, there was still I was still dying in ways that I just did not see coming. hearing. It's like a little a little sound that I'm hearing. Oh, that's what I'm hearing. It's this thing bouncing around. a good move. I think the stage looks cool, but again, it just has too many areas to try and find. Oh, that is very convenient. It's like right next to the teleporter. Shit, it's not here. 
I haven't learnt where it is the other times. Your favorite of the composer on Spotify. I'm not sure what else he's done, but uh, I mean, if this game is anything to go by, like. Dude's good. Because it's still hailing. Um, can't hear it because of my headphones. They cancel out sound. Probably. Oh, okay. I'm fine. Alright, I thought it might be here. At least here I can kind of spot it out. Yeah, this stage is too big for its own good. I'm just gonna have to go. Hey. At least I can do both of these events at once, so that'll help. Feeling a bit better now. Cool. Also, so like you updated the YouTube profile. Oh, you know, eh, doesn't matter anymore. Like, it's already done. I bet it was up yeah, somewhere. Alright. That's done. Ow, ow, ow! Leech seed, um, guess that and that. All right, let's go. Okay. We got to go to the bonus area.
Oh, okay. items is gonna come down <laughs> whether or not uh it just doesn't do anything horrible to me Are you kidding? Whoa, okay. Alright, come on, I have to win. That's two red items, like, very early. to be very upset if it gives me something that's just like untenable. This is the one annoying thing. It just takes forever to get anywhere. I'm gonna go over here. Doesn't look like there's anything for me back there. Um, I don't think I'll get to get the rings. I think I blew up most of the urns around the place. Oh shit, it's there. Okay, step back. I might be able to get them. I just need it. Fight over here. Oh, I blew it up, I think. Maybe. Damn disc. Stupid disc is, I think, taking out the pots. Yeah, uh, boss time every time I go to a teleporter. I don't know if you've never, like, seen what I do, but every stage you get there, you have to find the teleporter. There's chests scattered along the stage. So, the longer you spend in a stage, the harder the stage gets so in the top right is like the difficulty of the game so you have to balance finding items and getting stronger and progressing the stage it's like this balancing act you don't want to take too long oh damn it there was a thing here 
You don't want to take too long because then the game becomes too hard. But you don't want to go too quickly because then you might not be strong enough. Yeah, destroyed the urn. What a pain in the ass. It shouldn't do that. Oh, shit. I forgot to come get this. I'm not sure there's another chest I can open. I think I have a look and see if maybe... Oh, hold on. Okay, hold on. I might still be able to get it. This one's kind of an... Uh... I don't think this character has <laughs> the pushing power. Nah, it goes, it goes right over it. it. I'm gonna waste my time. There was one perfectly there, but that red item I got blew it up for some reason. All right. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna have a much better time now. My boop has been replaced with this ball. One, it's a heal, but also I can just avoid damage this way. This area is pretty. It does have some nice looking areas in this game. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see how we go. Oh, no. Are you kidding? Okay, it's not over. Where's the other one coming from? This character's very durable. <laughs> not in the way that you would expect. Strides to heal. Okay, it is over this. Let's shoot this. I probably should have waited. It's okay. I will just drop. That's not too bad. Oh no. That thing's gotta go. It's gonna drain my money. back in a few minutes. All good. Hopefully I'll still be alive at this point.
Um, go with this. Where am I going? I don't see it. That's useful. If I could get it. I don't think I can risk sacrificing a bad thing. Alright. Open. As long as I don't get anything heavy hitting, I'll be okay. This is here, that's interesting. I can't grab it unless I'm on full health, because otherwise I'll lose the watch. Okay, now. That's probably worth grabbing. Crit doesn't really do much for you, so let's go with... Hopefully destroying instantly. Don't see it. All right. Taking a guess. It's got to be up the other end. Let's just nuke at the moment I see it. Oh, thank you. 
I was lucky. I'll stop. You're watching someone play once human. Looks like a fun game. Never heard of it. I don't think I've heard of that one. I don't either, but there are some hilarious moments in it. What is it about? I mean, if you want to laugh, I can highly recommend watching someone play. Thank goodness you're here. I've already played it, but man. It's a funny game. guess this. Just thinking where I want this to go. I won't open any chests, just in case. Are oh, you shitting me? Oh, this is gonna suck. It's a zombie killing game. But it's ridiculous. Okay. Gotcha. double down on this just so I have some, a way to nuke an enemy if I want. You can have a pet. He had a human-sized cat. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Let me look this up. Whilst I got some well, okay, I'm not waiting around. But otherwise, I'll forget. Wait, why is it free? Oh, it's an MMO. Am I looking at the right thing? Okay. Yeah, it sounds interesting, but if, like, if it's that game, if it's an MMO, uh, that's, like, probably one of the few genres I don't touch. But not for me. I've tried, I've just never been able to get into them, because generally speaking, it almost involves, um... 
It involve it almost involves like a time schedule to be able to get the most out of it. What's M MMO? It stands for Massive Multiplayer Online. It generally means that you can interact with a lot of people if you want, um, but those games generally tend to be in a similar vein to like World of Warcraft, where you just have to make time to get the most out of them. And some often things that you do in the game take a really long time. It's one of those things where if you only play that game, you're going to have a lot of fun. But if you're someone like me that likes to play a whole bunch of different games, you just won't get the most out of it. Because it requires you putting a lot more time into the game than you would with any other game. Um, but yeah, like... You need to play with other people to get the most out of it. Or at least, maybe not necessarily like party up with other people, but engage with a community. Which is something I, I don't know, I just don't want to do. At a certain point it feels like a time commitment and a chore. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong game, but when I looked up the game, um, it, you know, the tagline, or at least the category, was under MMO. Yeah, let's go with this. Like, even if you don't have to engage with other people, it's just the concept of an MMO. Generally speaking, you have to uh, invest a lot of time into it to get the most out of it. I don't... That's the thing. It's like, I'm weird. I don't mind spending a lot of time on one game. But that's only when it's not the expectation, you know what I mean? Like, take something like Stardew or Animal Crossing. The mechanics in those games, they're designed to be, you know, like a day is 20 minutes long-ish, roughly. So you can play one day of that game for 20 minutes and it's fine, right? But I can play that game for hours on ends and, you know, I've played thousands of hours of that game. Whereas in an MMO, like, let's talk about World of Warcraft specifically, at least what I know of it. It'll be like, okay, we need to go do an, a dungeon. You need to, like, put aside an hour or two of your life to go do that dungeon. Otherwise, you just don't progress. And that's, those, that's the kind of thing that I don't do. When you have to kind of organize yourself like that. And that comes with MMO, typically. I'm not like saying anything bad about it, like it's horrible, it's just, it ain't for me. Oh, hey, welcome back, Vanna. I'm trying to be better at, like, looking at both chats. It's hard. The problem is, like, the thing that I use to have both chats together, it just doesn't show Twitch follows or anything like that, so it's like, ultimately, I still have to have the Twitch chat on its own open.
mean, it definitely sounds like it's the kind of game conceptually I'd like because of the weirdness. It's just, oh man, it's a shame it's an MMO. There are two words, well, two genres that immediately put me off the moment I hear them. MMO and uh, free to play. And this has, and this is both. Uh So you go back to Twitch? Nah, I'll just like watch wherever you want, that's fine. If YouTube is a better watching experience and go for it. Did I get everything? I feel like I got everything. Like I've become very cynical when it comes to the free-to-play genre. You can have a game that's free-to-play and good, but generally speaking, most of them, they just do that battle pass microtransaction, like stagnate the gameplay to sell cosmetics sort of thing. Which, uh, it's just not for me. It seems better for me. Nah, it's fine. I don't mind. Alright, I can leave here. I actually survived. Yeah. Go away, rat. this. Eh, I mean... I guess I'll go this in the hope that I get the alternate version of it. <laughs> this would be funny to do, but I feel like it would just brick everything if I do it. If honestly I hadn't gotten my butt kicked like for the past couple of hours, I'd do it to be funny. If Lelo was here, I'd probably just kick it anyway. Oh, there was a big chest here. Whoops. Sure, why not? 
feel very tempted to just do it anyway. If the, you know what? If there was a printer here that would fix me, so to speak. If um, I did get a bad item as a result of this. Let me see if I can find one. Oh, yo. This is what I was hoping for. Okay. Uh. I guess this is over already. Twitch is glitching out. I told you. <laughs> Just, if you want to watch on YouTube, go for it. It's like, if Twitch is that bad, which it sounds like it is, because the mobile app just sucks. No, you could do. Actually, you can't, because it's harder, right? Never mind. I was going to say, like, just watch on YouTube, but keep the Twitch chat open. In like a separate tab or something, but then I thought, wait, no, you can't do that on the phone easily. Oh shit, another one. It's actually a pretty cool idea if, like, you could embed the YouTube stream, but then have the Twitch chat on one page. You'd actually get- you would actually get a really good viewing experience. Huh. No, but you wouldn't be able to do it, because, like, YouTube streams are not fixed. If a YouTube stream was, like, this thing that was a fixed thing, Every time- this is the annoying thing about YouTube streaming, is every time you go live, it starts a new video. So it's not the same link every time. If it was the same link every time, you could potentially... ...have a page that has the YouTube embed and then the Twitch chat si sitting separate. And then suddenly it's like this ad-free viewing experience. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking more on that idea. It would involve some manual entry, just pasting in the URL of your YouTube stream but that's not that big a deal I'm gonna think about that more I know you're not that tech savvy anymore. Oh, I mean, I'm just thinking of, like, a page that could be easily made.
Just something, obviously, for myself, not, like... Hmm. It's probably more trouble than what it's worth. Oh god. No. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Those enemies are so scary. What the? What are you doing here? Oh, you're gone now. There's two of them? Alright, they're gone now. Okay. Eh. Yeah. Not great. Boomerang is not bad. Um, that's not worth getting. It is funny, but it's not worth getting. Did that thing just go into a wall? Off to a time slip. Alright, no worries. See you, Sandy. Have a good one. Um... Do I have gasoline? I don't have a gasoline yet. What time is it? Okay, it's four. Do have to cook dinner. But that's it's pretty straightforward. There we go. It's almost one for you. That's not too bad. I mean, it's a Saturday. It doesn't add planks. It shouldn't be. I set it to be, like, the bare minimum in terms of adds. 
Like, it should just play once and then not bug you again. Unless Twitch has changed that. I mean, yeah, that's part of the reason YouTube's better as a viewing experience. So if you're watching if you're watching something live, I'm gonna check the ad settings. Like maybe they reverted something. Um But if you're watching something live, man, like putting an ad taking away from the thing that's happening live is such a stupid idea. I get that they have to make money. But like it defeats the purpose of being live and in the moment. off soon um i mean that all depends on this run this would go for another hour or i could get my butt kicked in the next 15 seconds <laughs> then it's over Because usually around this time, this is like the extremely quiet period. Where it's, people are going to bed and then other people haven't woken up yet. So it just... It just uh, is very quiet. So I use that time to go eat. Let me, let me check real quick because I don't want it to get annoying. They did do it. I did see that they did an update on ads. Yeah. Welcome to the new ads manager. <sighs> yep. They, they changed it. I apologize. Okay, hold on. Yep, they've they've definitely changed it. Hang on. Disable pre roll ads by running now. It's it's very sneaky. So they they introduced this new ad manager and it's just like they defaulted it to the recommended instead of what I want what I had, which is, like, very minimal. Alright, so now it's, like, 30 seconds every hour. Um, and it'll do pre-roll. Yeah, just do pre-roll. Don't do that. Yeah, I don't care if I don't, like, every setting that I'm changing, they're like, you're not gonna get revenue from this, and it's just, like, Twitch... It's not worth me getting, like, five cents at the end of the month to piss off the audience. Like, that's that's the thing that I don't think they understand. For bigger streamers, it makes sense, but for a little streamer, you're just gonna annoy someone before they even watch your content. And that's the problem with ads. Alright, hopefully that'll be much better. It might be closer to what it was before. 
But thank you for letting me know. Don't really think they care about the creators. Oh, they don't. Like, and you know, again, the, they're a business. I get it. But they're always trying to, like, make it sound like there's no problem with ads. Like, why are people being so weird about wanting ads? And it's because, again, it just doesn't, for live content, it just doesn't work. Because it's just taking, taking you away from what's happening. Like, imagine ha that's how it worked in real life. Like, just, you're doing something and then suddenly this thing interrupts you from what you're doing. I know ads are a necessity to keep, like, things free. But yeah, I mean, I think what they need to do is have a way to be able to generate revenue from not just live streams, like... I know they're kind of working on browsing clips, but like if they did something like t TikTok before TikTok had gaming become popular, they would have uh, had a way to present ads that way. But now it's too late. It's just like, well, you missed the boat. Anyway, I will always... TikTok has ads, but it makes sense, right? Because it's not live content. Like, they need more kinds of content that isn't live on Twitch that you browse. And then that way, hey, people don't mind ads as much. It's, people still find them annoying, but at least it's not interrupting you from, like, experiencing the content. Other than, you know, okay, you're waiting, like, 30 seconds to, to continue the content, but you're not missing out on anything. It doesn't matter how good they think that, you know, their logic is in terms of putting in ads seamlessly into a stream. It, it's never going to be seamless. You're always going to miss out on something. And that's just fundamentally, it's, it's flawed. It doesn't matter how good it is. It's always going to make you miss out on something. As minimal or as big a deal as that thing that you miss out on might be, you're just always fundamentally missing out on something. And that's why people hate ads on Twitch. YouTube ads, on the other hand, I don't mind ads on YouTube, however, it became a problem where, like, every ad I was seeing was either a scam or gambling. And that just annoyed the crap out of me. So I got YouTube Premium because it was just like, nah, this is too annoying. I mean, maybe that's their intent, I don't know. But no shit, like, every ad was gambling or... Um, like some sort of, some sort of scam. And I'm someone that has never gambled in their life. Like, you can argue, oh, you get presented with ads that make sense to you. I have never gambled in my life, and nor do I have the interest in ever gambling. Like, not even for fun. I've never done it. I just don't see the fun in that sort of thing. And yet, every, practically every ad was gambling. <laughs> Not just any kind, of, it was sports gambling specifically. Like I, even, 
I haven't... The two things I have, like, not much of an interest in, I don't watch sports, I don't keep up to date with sports, and I've never gambled in my life, and these were the ads I was getting on YouTube just constantly. Hey, mate, you wanna, you wanna gamble? Oh, yeah, you're into the footy. Yeah, yeah, you're into the footy. I can tell. You're a bloke. What you can do is you can use sports bet to go put a gamble. Get some money. Yeah, you're, you're a bloke. You like sports. <laughs> uh, anyway. You watch football? Oh, that's fair. I, I got nothing against sports. I can actually watch sports and enjoy, right? As a social thing. Like, I've gone to sporting games with friends who are into sports and I can partake. But on my own, it's just not something I'm actively interested in. And, you know, the whole thing about ads being targeted to your interests and they show you what you're into, nah, that's a load of crap. And I made sure I turned on targeted ads, like... The setting was definitely on. But yeah, just kept getting shown gambling and scams. Honestly, YouTube Premium is, is worth it if you watch a lot of YouTube. You like this part of the game? The stage? The stage is good. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, I mean... I'm usually watching, um... Just random videos. Like, people talking about stuff, people being nerds, that sort of thing. And then just, um, some of the content creators I watch, I just watch replays of their streams that I can't catch. Nerds are cool. Yeah, uh, unironically, now they are. Guess I'm done? Alright. I also like watching cooking stuff as well, like, I'm convinced that if I hadn't taken a career in what I do currently, I probably would have been into cooking, like, try to do something with that. I've always appreciated the craft involved in cooking, and I guess because, you know, to a certain degree, you have to be creative as well. So in my eyes, it's like, it's, it's a creative field.
You watch cooking channels on TV, Top Chef and Chopped. I wish there was... There are cooking sh shows in Australia. The problem is they're the Australian versions of those cooking shows, and I just... I don't know. I feel like they're just lesser versions <laughs> of the... the original version of the TV show. That's the problem. Yeah, I've, I've always appreciated people who are nerds. Because it doesn't matter what you're nerdy about, it's just... You have more of... You'll probably have more of an understanding of who I am as a person if you're a nerd. I mean, uh, the movement, I'm probably going to invest in movement speed here. Whatever it lets me throw in. It, sometimes it's like the format is slightly different. Sometimes it's the host um, is not as good. Or like, it just feels like they're... Uh, they're trying to, like, be- have the same energy as, you know, the host on the American version or the British version, but they just don't nail it, you know? Ooh, there's a big chest there, right, cool. feel like you're behind. I mean, you're watching on Twitch, you, you most definitely are behind by like 30 seconds. If you're using the mobile app. just fell straight through. Ooh. Oh, okay, I got a choice. That's huge. I'm... I need to think about what I'm gonna get. Probably Clover. That seems like the safest, best bet here. Okay, the white items are gonna be boring. They're going to be predominantly movement speed. <laughs> so they had none up until this point. Oh my god, yes. Okay, I got to pick two red items. That's yeah, a big deal. Luck is on my side, finally. Ugh, this feels better already, just with the move speed. I 
just don't want to go grab it whilst there's still enemies. Actually, I mean, I know what one of them is going to be. One of them is going to be Clover, so let's just grab that. I mean, if I go with, like, what's the best. Okay, what do we got? I'm just looking at greens. I don't have ATG. Because if I have Clover, I should invest in ATG. There we go. That's interesting. <laughs> Wait, what? Did it gain health? The hell? All right, well, I am going to say this because I want to be funny. This could potentially net me extra items. Yeah, I mean, so this this is a thing where you get these modifiers that you can apply to your your gameplay. I don't use them, but I come to this one specifically because one of the modifiers is you get to pick all your items. So when you're in here, every item that drops, you can pick it. So it's just a nice way to get more items. Oh, it doesn't let you pick the boss killer. That's interesting. Unfortunately, I gotta wait until it drops the item to finish this. Oh, that's a bonus item. Alright, cool. Another bonus item. It's my birthday. Um, it's not till next year in January, so like one of the start of the year.
Which is part of the reason I've always been, like, younger. Dude, where is this item? Was doing this to me yesterday, like, <laughs> just wouldn't let me progress. Despite me being ready to progress. Like, this isn't, this isn't cool. I don't want to be here for longer than I need to be. Is that already dropped and I just haven't? Oh no, there it is. Finally. Jesus. There we go. Thank you. Okay, onwards. Ugh, all right. Oh, cool, the nighttime version of the stage. And I got the portal, all right, sweet. There's not going to be any waiting around. Thank you. Uh, what am I getting? Guess this. Alright, I'm going to do the portal. Oh, actually, find big chests first. big chest anywhere. There probably isn't one. I'm just gonna do this. I'll figure it out later. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say. <laughs> Usually it throws out enemies when I'm in the circle, but it hasn't done anything.
That was easy. Okay, um, whip. That. I'm just grab what I can before leaving. Oh my god. Okay. I just got a small one because I just couldn't find the big one anywhere. I think this this is it. I might finally win. <laughs> That's this character. Um, that's... Hmm. No, I'll stick to rockets, it's fine. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, shit. Saw my health get low there. underground area here. I don't think there's anything here. Nah, it doesn't look it. I think I'm good. Green portal. Super jump now. Um, get crit. Hey.
Ooh, big chest. Ah, oh, only two items this time. <laughs> You're saying hi because I said hey. This, this is... Oh, nah. I think I'm done already? I can't tell. Just go. I think it's all good. Oh my god. Okay. I almost died. Whatever that was at the start, it almost one-shot me. I got saved by the fact that I had that potion on me. Oh, hello. I can still lose. It's not like yesterday where I had something that was just unbeatable. In we go. Planula. Oh, there's a glasses printer. What am I hearing? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yes, this. Please don't go over the edge. There we go. Um, go stun. No. Yeah, don't fix that. That's that's cool. Doesn't matter how many years this game has been out for, they just still won't fix that bug.
Uh, I'm gonna have to get this, because the other one's gonna go off the edge. Alright, I think that's everything. One more stage to go. I'm trying to see if I left the chest anywhere. One here. Ow. Have a quick look. That looks doubtful. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Bonus item. All right, here we go. Finale. This is a cool looking stage. Really? Just two items from that? That's disappointing. Where's the other chest? That. Ah, oh, that was a green item. I don't know why they don't just make the item. Like, if it falls off the edge, just put it somewhere safe. Just reposition it, much like the player gets repositioned if you go off the edge. jumps do I have? Oh, like four. Wow. Is 
Still here? <laughs> All good. There it is. Oh wait, I got that one. How many do I have? That's two. Three with the one below. There's one more somewhere. Is it? Oh, there it is. We go. Meh. Nothing really worth gambling on. All right, let's see how this goes. Yeah, okay, this isn't going to be as easy as I thought it'd be. This last fa phase is going to be brutal. Okay, disabled skills. I gotta find my way around it. Pixelate. Oh yeah, no, it's going to be. Most definitely will be. 
Victory. I'm forgetting to look up like what this actually does. What does it actually do? Hmm, doesn't seem to mention that. Alright, let's see it. How do you look? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it's like an even fancier flower. It goes from that... I mean... That's a very fancy flower. Um, who's next? Maybe you. Was a dogger. I like this character. This one's one of my favorite. It's a made up creature, it's like. Everyone calls him the dog. Poison doggo. So nice to be able to <laughs> leap and move around compared to the previous character. Looks like a dino horse hybrid. I can see that. How it gallops, it's making horse-like noises. This run kind of reminds me of how Donkey Kong runs a little as well. Looks like the altar's gonna be at the back. Alright, let's do this while we're here since it's at the back. I can probably bait the boss to go off the edge.
Come on, give me more stuff to fight. Okay, hang on. There's a way I can do this. Summon. And then that way they can come to me. What are they doing? Where, where are they going? Hey! Not that way. Over here. I think they found me now. Dummies. Oh, here we go. Alright. I need a make it come here and then it'll it'll die <laughs> yes idiot oh my god this holy shit I got a red item from that Work smarter, not harder. Heels. All right, good stop. Uh, of course, it's us. Let me see if I can get on top of it. There we go. It's not... What is going on? It's not attacking it. I kind of have to... Semi full. Oh, that was satisfying. Oh, shit, no. Oh, my God. All right, it's dead. Alright, I'm alright, I'm alright. Poison. It seems like the boomerang keeps going with the poison, which is kind of cool. That over there. Drone. Alright, we're good. Uh, eh, I mean, I don't think there's anything I, I want over there, so I'm just gonna drop straight away.
Okay, interesting. Ugh. Of all the things to get. Oh. That's interesting. Huh. I had no idea you could use a skill like that. Gives me like another way to attack them. Okay, well, guess that's nice. The plan B. Um, gasoline. I'll be okay. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get money from this round, most likely. They're going to be off-screen somewhere. I'm not complaining, it's a freebie, but... Oh, over that. Keep giving me enemies that I can't actually attack unless I spit at them. This is annoying. at that until that fades. Hurry up! <laughs> Stupid mushroom. Okay. There we go. Where am I going? Over there. Charge this up. Oh god, they got Krova. That's so fucking annoying. I guess as long as I hover on low health, it'll, it'll be okay.
Um. Hmm. Go with this. This is. It's for safety more than anything else. Um, go move speed. I guess not to fully heal is the right call here. Oh, there's rats. Okay, this will help. It's just the first hit that's gonna suck <laughs> every time. ahead this is probably the best thing to grab we okay nothing to be worried about Poison, go. Uh, I don't know if I should be concerned or not. Wait, where the hell did you come from? I got something to deal with us. Oh, that missed. Go sail star. Where am I going? <sighs> mm, this could be scary. The shuriken could one shot me. Okay, now nah, that's not too bad. This is definitely scary. And now these wisps were throwing shurikens at me. Oh my god. Did 
This is actually frightening. Do not attack the mushrooms, or I lose. Got it. I have to leave the mushrooms be, or I, I straight up lose. This is almost going to be, like, probably better not to attack at this point, and just only go for the things that are, like, immediately in front of me. I just don't want to accidentally make the mushrooms heal themselves and then insta-kill me. I'll be okay. I do have a plan B. Even if I die, it's okay. Oh, wow, I survived. Okay. Um. I'm not sure what to go. This is not gonna... Uh, this is probably... The best thing. It's just, it's not gonna be an effect. None of those are gonna really be a game changer. Hopefully there's one more chest still. Yep, over there. That. Okay, thought it might have been a big one. Alright, I'll take that. That's good. Oh, there's a scrapper here. Okay, hang on. Um... What am I gonna get rid of? This... It actually did a good job. I don't know if it was bugged, but I mean, maybe I just don't understand that skill yet, but it was giving my right click like the lightning strike and I thought it happens for your melee attack, which is weird. Anyway, doesn't matter. It served its purpose.
All right. Oh, I got another one. <laughs> okay. Good timing. I'll see if I can find another big chest. Otherwise, it's not the end of the world if I don't. Oh, there is one. Wow, okay. Just gotta hang out here for a little bit. I thought that was a big one. Am I blind? Maybe I'm blind. It looked like a big one from a distance. I'll keep looking. going on that. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's another big one, so I'll just buy one of the little ones. Probably have to come back for that one. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a one percent red. Are you kidding me? The doll. That was the, the result of the doll. Dude. <laughs> so anytime I play this character, I just have a good time.
Alright, let's just go. Like we're here. Move away. Another doll. I love that I have so many leaps now. Alright. Onwards. Power of Acrid, like this is the one circumstance you probably don't want to get that item. Oh God, it's a corrupted worm. looking at here over here careful don't want to eat a hit from this thing did it just it's okay it just killed itself Where's the last one? Is it here? It doesn't appear to be here. Oh, it's gone. Never mind. Um, yes. Get that. Gasoline. I need to go find the big chest, which is right here. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I just need a way to constantly heal.
fun. Yep. But for some reason, I always have fun with this character. Just everything goes my way. I can just kind of fly around the stage, it's fun. Not completely indestructible, but... What I have is pretty strong. I can get to a point where I'm just healing constantly, those skulls are just gonna rip everything apart. Hey, Seth. Thanks for the 45 months, dude. How's it going? Onwards. How's things down in here? Ugh, hail, rain, misery. So, I'm just kind of playing games before dinner. Gotta go cook. I got a steak, so I'm gonna make myself a steak. Wait, what? Going all right for me, your message failed to send. What the hell? <laughs> what? What was the end of that sentence? That's new. Try typing it again. <laughs> what on earth? Yeah, I mean, see what happens if you try to send that exact message again. Going to bed soon? Oh, yeah, that probably means I should eat, eh? It's so bizarre.
Go healing skulls, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Holy shit, that slab, that was satisfying. That was cool. This is why I love playing as Akron. Nice lazy weekend for you and watching the international soon. That was the end of that sentence? That is so bizarre. Yeah, I'm, I can't explain that one. That. I thought it maybe you had used a single word that might have been on the block list of words. Because, you know, bots are running rampant, but... But even that doesn't make sense. It's like, how, how can you fail to send half a message? That's so weird. Not even half a message. Oh well. <laughs> whoa, 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 where am I? What the hell? Physics, please. Something definitely to be said about how the physics feel now. Pretty much on any character that has any form of acceleration, it just... Doesn't feel like it used to. I think I got everything. Adaptive chest. No, that's a good choice. I'll take that gladly. Bombs away. Did it hit? I don't think it hit. <laughs> What's that? Before I die. Hard. Okay, not interested. Is there a gilded enemy somewhere? I see my money getting drained.
Uh, yeah, I mean, this can be good. It's probably better than the Molotovs. Alright. Oh, nice. That's convenient. Okay, I don't have to go far to go get a big chest. Heading off of Hannah, alright. No worries. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Is that it? Whoops. I have a shot that. Ah, uh, just like 40 gold short ish. It's fine. All right, now I can go. Oh no, it's gilded. This has to go. Or I just get a far away from it. I just don't like how often they spawn. It's kind of annoying. I either need to tone down how often they spawn or just reduce the rate at which the money gets drained. At least early on. Maybe make him less tanky, just one of those things. Like, look, look right now. I see four. If I shoot my poison anywhere in there, all my money's gonna go. I'm just gonna ignore him. Street. Eh. Oh, okay. <laughs> the second dust plant. pretty much done here. There is a scrapper. Alright, I'll trade some crap for more bleed. Is 
dude, what is... Ah, uh, it's garbage. <laughs> that item needs to be completely reworked. It's just... Why is that a red item? Alright, I think I got everything. All right, let's get to the green portal. Where's the teleporter? Am I blind? It's not down here, is it? No. I'm blind, where is it? I think it's around the back of that tower, alright. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Sure. There's one more somewhere, where? Oh, one spawned below. Pretty sure this is one, yep. Ow. Okay, careful. Go back up. Here it is. Nice of you to join. That counts as a defeat, despite them not being completely gone. I was going to get rid of the watchers, but... Oh well. I can't believe how bad that red item is. Time. Since we're looping, time isn't really that valid anymore. What else? I'll keep Shroom just in case. Um, it's probably invalid now too. It's not really gonna do anything for me. Oh yeah, this lantern. And uh, monster tooth.
Tape slug for now. Alright. One more. Oh, pss. I waited too long. <laughs> I was trying to aim the leap. All right. Okay, I got to pick my equipment. Um, I'll probably go with Ball. Ugh, too many equipment barrels. That's kind of a shame. I'll be okay. Alright, let's have a look around. Yeah, it doesn't look like those big chests. Whoops. <laughs> nah, no big chests. Okay, um... Is there at least a special one? Yeah, we'll go to the attack one. It is what it is. And then, yeah, when I get dull, like, it'll fuel that fire. Already? So disappointing there's so many equipment barrels oh oh okay point just increase the damage of the burn okay 
Okay, hopefully green pole right away. Yep, cool. Have a look and see if there's a big chest. There is over there. Oh, there's a normal one here. Better. take any chances. Okay. Interesting. I'm still convinced I'm gonna get Wongus. Okay. <laughs> That's the second red I've gotten out of a common chest this run. Fine. Oh, right, that's me. <laughs> I got worried. I forgot. Vulture. Whoops. Whoops. Go back. Go back. Yeah, buddy. I could probably take you out, but I think it's more entertaining to do it this way. <laughs> uh, um, go the movement speed three. Really? Okay, I need to get some more money. Stupid gilded enemies. Oh my god, alright. Teleport up. I'm 
Yeah, gilded. Yeah, I'm all gilded. It better be enough to get the last item from that thing. Ugh, there's more gilded enemies on the way. scrap anything. I think I'm fine. Save some time. This is why I haven't got another slug. I'm kind of worried what this is going to end up. I have the damage resist. I need sustain. Another sail star. And if I could secure the longest, I'd be happy. Okay, right, that's good to know. Ah, oh, damn, there was another rich, uh, big chest here. Probably still gonna go on the bustling fungus. Just as a little bit of an emergency heal. Where is it?
Where'd I see that print off? I'm not imagining it, there definitely was one. Alright, I'll do the teleporter event first and I'll worry about it. Ooh, okay. Fine, under control. I hope I got Soulbound Catalyst <laughs> as a printer. Somewhere. That would finish this build off. Sec. I want to find that printer. Um, but yeah, if I'm doing that, get rid of a couple of items. We'll see <laughs> I think I clipped through the ceiling. I don't know, man. This map is nice, but it's just kind of tedious to navigate around it. There it is. I think what makes the stock maps nice is there's a vantage point where you can sort of see most of the stage. Whereas in here, this stage, a lot of it is just masked by the fact that it's a cavern. So it's harder to see if you've actually collected everything. Or where things are as a whole. Whoa. Too far. Just throw that in there. That should get him. Ah, oh, damn. Um, hopefully there's another scrapper. What is that? What is this garbage? I don't see a big chest anywhere. Oh, here we go.
I realize I almost died there. Oops, too high. Gladly take another slug. I am surprised I didn't have more of that. I'm still going to stick to Doll. Um, that being said. item. I mean, I guess we got to see it. Although, like, okay, okay, after an hour, how much does this item give me at the start of a stage in terms of money? I would make it warranted as a red item. Okay, what is this? Oh. It's nothing. All right. Here we go. Six thousand three hundred gold, which uh, I mean, at this point, I just get that anyway. The first enemy I kill is going to give me that. Is it even going to be enough to... Okay, it is enough to get that. But again, it's a red item, you know? It's something that should have high impact on your run. That is, like, low impact at, <laughs> at best. Another boomerang. My money's being drained.
Okay, good. At least I got another one of these. Oh, there's the last chest. Dude, my luck with the red items this round, holy crap. I guess that it's like the other one's not really gonna activate in the fight. What have we got? Um This'll activate because of Dahl. Then I guess just go opal. In case I take a heavy hit. It <laughs> stopped the leap. I thought I could, like, leap as far as I could. Oh my god. Yeah, this is what I mean. I'm gonna have to use Akrat's powers to get myself out of this. Keep doing this, we'll be okay. Like, I feel like you play Akrat as a ranged character more than anything else later on. Okay, that teleport's actually kind of clutch for that. Move. Oh my god, he can actually- he just follows you. Well. That sucked. I thought I could escape into the air and he wouldn't hit me, but no, that was a bad move. I just didn't have any regen. I needed Wongus to win. That would have made the world of difference. It would have... Yeah. I had no heal. Alright, um, I'm gonna leave it here. I gotta go get some food in me, so... At least I won with, um, Rex, so that's fine. Alright, um, we'll do more of this soon. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in if you're watching this live or as a replay later on on the VODs channel. If you want to support any of those channels over there on YouTube, just click the like button. It helps a lot. Uh, yeah, thanks if you do that. But we'll uh, definitely do more of this soon.